Xenon Electronic Batch Record. Welcome to this presentation about using the paper on glass application. In the pharmaceutical industry, paper is used quite commonly to drive the manufacturing process, with paper based standard operation procedures that instruct the operator of certain tasks, and paper based batch records which record the events throughout the batch production. The operator is key to flexible and agile production. However, using paper to drive the operator has some limitations and it's reported that right first time or first pass pulse with zero defects when using paper in production is less than 50% and the errors which cause the rejects and reworks come down to quite simple human failures. For example, errors in paper documentation where a temperature value has been entered where a pH value is requested, or missing entries where the batch has continued without recording a critical quality attribute, or even the papers lost or forwarded to the wrong person. These are quite simple failings which happen in, in the day-to-day -day usage of paper in production. What I'm proposing is to use a mobile tablet application, the paper on glass application, to then drive the operator's instructions and record the information automatically in an electronic archive. This gives a lot of advantages. For example, if we enter a value of 2000 degrees Celsius, this is clearly wrong. We're missing a decimal point. It should be 20 degrees. Now with an electronic system, at that point of entry, we can check and double check to make sure that the correct values are entered. We can query an alert. We can bring other people automatically into the workflow, such as quality people, to decide what happens when a certain event occurs. And this can happen real time in the batch, not post batch. So what does this look like? Well, here is an example screen of the paper on glass application. On the right hand side is our batch control module, an ISA 88 batch engine, which in this instance is not driving the physical process. It is instructing the operator of certain tasks to carry out and to record certain information back into the system. We can see here it gives a very visual context of how the production is supposed to flow. On the left hand side here we can see that phase by phase, task by task, the operator gets a very clear instruction of what is needed to be carried out. At the bottom we get certain hazard information and safety equipment advice. In the middle section we have a recording area where the critical quality attribute values can be recorded for each individual phase. And without these values being populated, we are not allowed to continue the batch. Or we can reject the phase if we have a certain comment in this field. Incidentally, the comment can be added to at any point in time. Therefore, we have an electronic logbook in the system as well. Now, because we record information automatically into a historian, as soon as the last pill leaves the production line, we can create a batch record. So we collect all the information automatically during the batch production and instantly we can generate a, a production report which gives a user audit trail about all the events which have happened during that batch. We can separate data out into certain areas and, and uh, create very visually impacting reports. So here we're looking at uh, a temperature process variable and we can see the evolution that this process variable has taken throughout the batch and we can very clearly see there's been a violation here with the HH warning. Also we get the value that the violation occurred at as well. We get uh, information about the, pro the process parameters that we were controlling to and a detailed description about the history of that as well. In addition to a classic batch report, we can start to, to separate out information with regard to material and also equipment usage. We can also highlight specifically where the violations and warnings occurred on the system. Now, this collation and analysis of a batch takes between 10 and 30 days on a paper-based production. This is something that you can have instantly directly after the batch. So there's a very clear benefit and advantage there. Also, we have this point of entry verification. Here is an example screen where the operator has entered a value which is out of the tolerance for this particular quality attribute. So it asks the operator, are you sure about this value? And a comment must be entered. So even if the value is true, it's a violation or it's a warning, a comment needs to be entered. Now, in the example uh, system that we have, which I'll show you later on in this presentation, I don't allow the operator 
to enter values here, we need a quality person to execute this task. So we have this verification of a critical event which is occurring. We can start to automate the workflows that happen here as well, that automatically when we get a warning or a violation or something's out of tolerance, we can use our message control module to send an email to the relevant people, to send an SMS or to even call the people which are responsible for that particular task. So you can see we can query and alert to the operator. We can automate the workflows to get the quality people involved at the right time and perhaps we can save the batch before it gets to a critical point, which is not possible on a paper system. Let's just conclude the advantages here. We can see how we collect the data automatically. So we reduce this post-batch analysis time, which on a paper system is 10 to 30 days. We reduce this to the minimum amount of time because the collation and the analysis of data is created automatically. But by far the biggest advantage of this system is that we make no change to the physical equipment or process. We are only making changes to how the operator is instructed of their task and how we record the information. Because of this, we have other advantages such as the point of entry verification where we can verify at the right time where we can make a difference to the batch that is this correct value and then act if there's a violation or a warning. We get very strict execution of batches because we have this step-by-step -step request to the operator to carry out certain tasks and to record information. We remove the missing entries because we're not allowed to continue the batch without entering the correct values. And as far as humanly possible, we reduce the incorrect entries. We also have a cost avoidance because we don't need to produce paper and we don't need to store paper in a secure environment throughout the effective life of that product. I'd like to thank you very much for your time today. And if you have any questions, please drop me an email. Thank you. Bye-bye.